Hey y'all, real quick, if you like my content, make sure to like the video. Since I'm a new channel, liking the video will help me out with YouTube and its algorithms, so that way I can show up in searches and suggested playlists and all that fun stuff. Thanks guys! Hey y'all, and welcome back to Tobacco Leaf Legacies. This is Cheryl, and we're doing something a little different today. Um, you can see the house behind me here. This was actually my uh, great-grandmother's house. So this was my mom's dad's mom, <laughs> my grandfather's mom. And um, it's just up the road from my grandparents' house, and it's across the road from my uncle's house. So this whole little area right here was, you know, it was just all family, which is really kind of cool. And the history with this house, I think the house behind me, I think it was built in the late 1800s. Um, we don't really know. I can't find tax records on it or anything. <clears throat> Excuse me, nobody in the family seems to know exactly when it was built, but has been here a very long time um, and I probably mentioned this in, in a video I did uh, yesterday but <clears throat> there's no insulation in the house so what you see it's wood and it's like shingles it's siding and that's that's it um, so bless her you know back in the day I mean she didn't have air conditioning she didn't have I mean she had heat but she didn't have it you know in the houses like we do now I mean she had heaters you know that she could move around but that was it and I mean you know think about it if you're in 20 and 30 degree weather and all you've got is a piece of board between uh, you and the snow and my brother tells a story because him and his family uh, lived here in the early 80s for a brief time um, while they were having a house done and he tells a story that when my niece was a baby um, that her bottle actually froze in the kitchen. It was so cold in the house, it actually froze. That, that's pretty cold. Um, but anyway, and so we're going in this house because, like I said, it is was built in the 1800s and we're losing this one, you know, along with losing mine. It's all part of the same deal. And, <clears throat> excuse me, there's cabinets that are in here <clears throat> that are original to the house and the reason that I'm going to get them is because I found out from my cousin that um, one of my uncles actually carved and you'll see this later on in the video too he actually carved little pieces of wood um, like little squares and different things to put on the cabinet doors and and even kind of just uh, as border elsewhere um, he carved those by hand and put them on to you know just be pretty to be decorative and when I heard that story and I just thought oh my gosh and I asked him are you, are you gonna keep any of these doors or is it just gonna go down with the house and he was like no we're not gonna keep it and so of course you know y'all knowing me I was like oh can I please go in and get some and um, so he said of course that was fine so um, and I'm recording this little intro video uh, the next day because I didn't have a chance to do it yesterday so we went in and you'll see video where um, pulled all the cabinet doors down I got a couple drawers I would have liked to have gotten and, and you'll see this like the full like hanging cabinet but the way that it was put in you know it's not like uh, now with you know anchors and screws and things like that and you can easily take stuff down um, <clears throat> excuse me it was put in with nails and such and oh, hold that thought a second anyway sorry about that a little truck coming down the road and so anyway so they were put up with nails and such and I was really afraid if I started pulling on it or doing too much I would just tear the wood up and so I thought well you know let's just stick with the doors let's just get that and the drawers and the doors and um, and I got like an old doorknob and, and I got some other stuff like I said you'll see in the video and so <clears throat> it was just really cool and that kind of stuff is just so special to me and if you've got something in your family like that or when you find out you know the family history especially something that somebody has handmade hand carved I mean come on that's that's kind of special stuff right there um, make sure that you try to keep it ask whoever you can about it if it's not yours to keep I mean what's the worst that they're gonna say no nope. you know you never know they might say yes and you don't know until you ask <clears throat> Apologies, another truck coming down the road. We didn't used to have too much traffic 
on this road, especially when it was dirt. As you can kind of see, it's all nice and paved now, and yeah, I liked it better when it was dirt, but anyway, as I always say, that's another story. Y'all, I got so many stories. Anyway, okay, so we're going to get on with the video. I'm going to mix some uh, stuff in, and you'll get to see inside the house and the cabinets and um, all the goodies that I got yesterday. And I'm very excited about it and very thankful that I was able to go in and get that. Blackbird, blackbird, singing the blues all day, right outside of my door. Blackbird, blackbird, why do you sit and say, there's no sunshine in store? All through the winter, you hung around, now I began to feel homeward bound. Blackbird, blackbird, gotta be on my way Where there's sunshine galore Pack up all my cares and woe Here I go singing low Bye, bye, blackbird Where somebody waits for me Sugar sweet and so is she Bye, bye, blackbird no one here can love and understand me. Oh, what hard luck stories they all hand me. Make my bed and light the light. I'll arrive late tonight. Blackbird, bye-bye. Bluebird, bluebird, calling me far away. I've been longing for you. Bluebird, bluebird, this is my lucky day. Skies are turning to blue. I'm like a flower that's fading here, where every hour is one long tear. Bluebird, bluebird, this is my lucky day. Now my dreams will come true. Pack up all my cares and woe. Here I go, <coughs> singing low. Bye, bye, blackbird. Where somebody waits for me. I like how the shelves are overlapping here. That's kind of cool. Bye, bye, blackbird. No one here can love and understand me. Oh, what hard luck stories they all hand me. Make my bed and light the light. Well, we got all the cabinets anyway. That's pretty cool. I'd love to get those big pieces down, but oh my gosh, I think that's more work than, than we can do. Look at the floor over here. Okay, so we have this floor. And then we have that floor which I'm actually going to take a piece of. <laughs> and then that floor. Get the wood floor in here. Little steps going upstairs. Which I have never been upstairs in this house, not even when my uh, brother lived in it. Over here. Kind of hard to see. That's where uh, the heater, fireplace thing used to be. Low ceiling. And there is no insulation in here. Now this was the room uh, that they had added on. So it was not <clears throat> completely original to the rest of the house. Make sure we don't have any visitors in here. Oh.
All right, I got my little flashlight. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that's going to help much. One of the original doors over there. There's a fireplace over there. Again, make sure there's no friends. Yeah, they feel pretty good. Oh, look at this. How nice. Oh my gosh, there's like a whole other beautiful space up here. Now, were these, I'm assuming, if Uncle, you know, Uncle Clarence was born here. That's wonderful. Oh my gosh. I just, I just love that. Look at up here. Look at this. It is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. These are my uncle's uh, old tobacco barns. And I don't know that I've ever been out here looking at them. Come out here with my cousin right now. Look at these old trees over here too. There were some other old trees that were further up here that, God, they must have been 200 years old. They were like four feet in diameter. And take a peek in. on my goodies y'all god i am so excited look at look at this old floor piece isn't that amazing god that's probably from like the 40s or something and that one i just kind of tore off you know a bit of it but doesn't it look cool god, love to have like the whole thing and this broom over here yes this is a broom y'all check it out that is one that my great-grandmother made to sweep inside. And she also made ones to sweep outside. Not that she had a lot of concrete, because she didn't, but apparently the story goes that she would fashion a broom uh, out of lim limbs and, you know, tree limbs, things like that, and she would sweep the dirt. <laughs> she had very clean dirt. She would uh, you know, clean up the leaves and, and stuff like that. You know, you didn't have a big old paver to come out. And so she kept her yard, her dirt, whatever, uh, clean <laughs> of the leaves and such. But these cabinets, look at this wood. These little accents right here, isn't it beautiful? My uncle, um, I guess technically my great uncle, uh, my cousin was telling me that he made all of these, all of these little adornments that you see, he carved them by hand. 
and put them on all of these doors. And that is why, in the drawer, the front of the drawers and everything, and that is why I just wanted these, ugh, so if I move this without breaking it, <laughs> why I wanted these so bad, because, I mean, my family did that, you know? My uncle did that, and that to me, it just, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, and I love it. And I got, um, got this too, old doorknob the other side. <laughs> Isn't that neat? And here's the old, you know, lock that went with it. I just took the whole thing. And then this pole right here. I know you're saying, well, that's just a wood pole. What's so exciting about that? Well, in the tobacco barns that were just over there that I was doing video of, um, these are the poles that are inside that the tobacco would hang on. And I asked my cousin if I could have this one because the tobacco barns on our property are gone. And so if we had any of those, you know, I didn't get them. So I got one of these, which is the next best thing. So I am very excited with my little haul. That's so cool. Look at all my family stuff. Love it. All right, well, this concludes this video. I know this was a little bit different, um, but I just thought that it was really cool because it was still uh, part of my family, uh, still part of my ancestry in a way, and especially because it's a house that, like I said, was built in the 1800s and my uncle had a part of it and I was just so grateful to be able to get in there and kind of show you what it looked like. It was very simple, but to me and I know to others who appreciate that kind of thing, it's just beautiful and I love it. You probably heard me you know, telling my cousin, oh my gosh, it's just, this is just beautiful. I love it and I get very excited about that and I know there's others of you out there that get excited about that kind of thing too. So I figured it would be kind of neat to do a little side video here and show you <clears throat> and I'm out here by the barns again to do my quick little conclusion video. I really wish that, you know, I still had our tobacco barns. They were of course, very similar to this because um, my cousin's dad, you know, my uncle and my grandfather, they were brothers. And so they built them together. And so they were very similar uh, in how they were put together and how they were, were designed. And I just would love to still have that. But <clears throat> of course, another story. <laughs> um, so I think that's about it. Like I said, hope you enjoyed it. And I'm always going to remind you, time is precious. Carpe diem. Seize the day. See you next time.